Hi everyone, welcome to my screencast on how to install MySQL database on Red Hat, CentOS, and Fedora. So there are multiple steps on how to achieve this. I'm going to show you the simple way, right? So one way is actually you can go to scale.mysql.com slash download and slash mysql and from the drop down you can choose Red Hat Express Linux slash Oracle Linux and you will be presented with this page and from here you need to download four different packages if you want to install through RPM but uh, I'm going to show you how to install through YUM which is a pretty simple way right so if you want to install through RPM just go ahead and download these four RPMs one is MySQL shared compact 64 bit version. Similarly, go ahead and download the MySQL client 64 bit. Download MySQL server 64 bit RPM. Then finally, MySQL shared 64 bit RPM. So you can download all of these and uh, you can install them using RPM command. So here I, am, I have some packages and I can just say rpm IDH my square start right so if, if there are no issues with the dependencies it's going to go ahead and install all these different RPMs so let's go, in, go ahead and uh, actually look at the easier way right so we are going to look at how to install through YAM so before installing MySQL, you need to make sure that there are few dependencies for MySQL. One is the dependency of Perl itself. If you don't have install uh, through yum, you can just say yum install Perl, right? And before that, make sure you have the Perl installed. If you have Perl, you don't have to worry anything about it. If you don't have, you can just simply login as root and say yum install curl so it's going to download and install automatically so because I have one I don't have to do anything else here okay, okay so let's go ahead we will use yum to install mysql which is the client and the mysql server right so I am going to say s and this is going to download the mysql client server the lips everything
So MySQL Server is the biggest package and it's going to take some time. Here you can see that uh, all the MySQL packages were installed successfully. And here are some of the MySQL commands after the installation of MySQL. Before starting MySQL, there are few things which few steps which we need to carry out. So first is if you want to start the MySQL server daemon during the system startup, you can do that with this command check config. Hyphen hyphen level two three four five my skin D on. So this is going to make sure that MySQL server starts whenever you switch on the system. Right, so I've started the script using etc I need dot D my skill D start. <coughs> So now we need to change some steps, or change the passwords. MySQL hyphen root hyphen root root. So we're logged into MySQL. Then let's delete all users who are not root. Delete from mysql.user where not host equal to local host and user equal to root and I'm going to include flush privileges. So now let's change the root database admin password in the next step. I'm going to say set password for root get local host. And password equal to this is my new password. I'm going to add few more steps and by default this should be actually enough you can actually log in with uh, this kind of setup so using password I can just say mysql hyphen root password and it's going to password your databases right create database So you can go ahead and create the tables as well. And if you want to perform a few securities, you can also go ahead and remove the anonymous access. 
right? So which are not necessary, but depending on security level that you want, you can do that. Delete from mysql.user where user equal to empty. So now let's also make sure <coughs> let me log in from this database and create a new user so that only through that user will be able to access this particular database and this user is going to be a super user to access the database server from outside the server itself and again it's generally not a good practice to grant root user access to our network okay so you can log in into mysql you can say create user let's say super admin identified by SQL admin, let's say he's my super user, and I'm going to grant all on star dot star PLC. Okay, I think I made a mistake, it should be super, that it has become a cyber admin. Should be grant here, small title. So now let's exit from MySQL and we can use this newly created user to access this database from outside the world as well. So before you can do that, make sure that your server firewall rules are updated for granting this server to respond to port 3306 for outside world access. So I'm going to open the IP tables via etc.sys config IP tables. I'm, go I'm going to add a new line so let me add a new line here hyphen a input hyphen m state state is going to be new hyphen m is a key and hyphen t is a tcp d port 3306 and hyphen j is accept so we have added a ip table rule Let's save this and restart the IP table to make sure the changes take, take effect. Service IP tables restart. So that's it. So we are able to log in. We are able to set up everything for MySQL and now you can go ahead and connect to this MySQL from outside this server as well, right? So if you have MySQL client on your Windows, so through GUI you can actually connect to this username or a super admin which you have just created. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. So we'll meet 
in the next video with uh, looking at new technologies. Thank you.